Hey, what's up YouTube? Joe Gas here. Today I'm going to tell you how to make grungy effects in Photoshop. Now I got this request from a couple of people, so I decided to just make the video, and I think I'm going to be making more Photoshop tutorials, because a lot of people know that I can design pretty well, so they want to see more tutorials out of Photoshop. So, I guess I could do a little bit more of those, but first let's focus on making a grunge effect in any of your images. Okay, so I'm going to open up Photoshop, and you see I made this sample image of just a grunge, very grungy type of image. I don't really know what it's supposed to have to do with anything, but it looks pretty cool in my opinion. And I'm going to try to make this again, not the exact thing, but something similar, maybe with a couple of different colors. So let's file new, and... I'm going to just make the background 320 by 480, the standard iPhone background, just to make an iPhone wallpaper. And I'm going to make a carnival type of grunge. So, now, what I'm going to be doing right now doesn't actually partake in grunge, but it's just going to be the background image. So you could follow along if you want to do this. So I'm going to take, in my color swatcher, these are the two images that I want to make this pin type of um, starburst effect. So I have white and red, which are like carnival. I'm gonna take the gradient tool, hold it down, just gonna make my background, just like that. Next I'm gonna go filter, distort, wave, and I have these settings modified so that, um, so that it looks wavy, like that. So basically it auto-generates a pinstripe. Then filter, distort, polar coordinates, and it should look like that. You could either do this or that. I like this for the carnival look. So as you can see, we have the pinwheel type of effect that you'd see in a carnival. Now we're going to make this grungy. And so let's get started. I'm going to double click the layer and go to pattern overlay. Now some of you might be curious why I did this and this is because we need a overall grungy look. Now we're not only going to be using patterns, we're going to be using brushes as well but the pattern is just going to finish it off. So now before I get into this you're going to have to have some preloaded brushes, grungy brushes and patterns that you find yourself online, load them into Photoshop. Now, if you don't know how to do this, then in the description I have a tutorial on loading brushes and patterns into Photoshop, and in the description of this video, I'll also have the site called BrushEasy.com where I get the majority of my patterns and brushes, and they have a lot of good grungy effects. So once you've downloaded all of them and loaded them into Photoshop, you're going to select a pattern. So I'm just going to look. I have all these grunge type of patterns. And we're going to take the opacity and turn it down. And as you can see, what that's doing is it's not actually putting the whole pattern in, but it's there. It's a, If you turn it down, it's kind of there so you can almost see it. So it's actually really cool. Now, I'm going to turn this. Probably going to choose a darker pattern like that. So already we have a grungy look now we're gonna apply brushes to it so make a new layer go to brushes and select brushes now obviously you're gonna load some brushes and you wanna make your foreground color black and then select a uh, brush so I have a bunch of cracked brushes I'm just gonna put a crack right there um, get another thing up here going you might want to get some grungy smudges. Now, please don't get mad at me for this because I do not really know where I got all of these brushes from. All I know is I Google search grungy effects, go to brusheasy.com, look it up there. If you you're, if you research, you're going to find something. So you might not have these exact type of cracks and stuff that I'm using, but you'll have something. And as you can see... There we go. We have all of the we have the grunge effect already just by using some brushes and patterns. And you could make something like this. You could make something like this. I mean, totally two different things. 
look the same. Actually, really cool effect. So thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more Photoshop tutorials, and have a nice day.